Well, well, look who decided to be the main course on today's menu. You couldn't resist feeding the T-Rex, couldn't you? Now here we are, trapped on Isla Nublar with dinosaurs running rampant thanks to your choice to ignore the sign. Don't worry, I'm your friendly security expert sent here to clean up the mess with my two colleagues. One colleague. Who? Half of my colleague. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to my channel, everyone. I'm the Global Cherry, and we'll be determining if you can survive Jurassic Park and how. Before we begin, subscribe, like the video, and enjoy the show. The folk in our tour group will tell me first that the best way to survive Jurassic Park is to not go there. No shit, Sherlock! You're absolutely right. But you're here with me, aren't you? I don't blame you. After all, we humans have an insatiable curiosity that we would escape our life to visit a theme park with live dinosaurs. Possibly more enticing than watching Global Cherry's videos. Don't nod your head. So how do we get off this island? Now that we've understood the gravity of the situation, looking for dino-proof structures with reinforced doors and windows is your safe bet, especially against velociraptors. Luckily, we're in a well-fortified lab, and raptors cannot open doors due to having the claws of a chicken. We may be able to come out, but nothing can come in. And the doors in this lab are automated. <sighs> That's okay. Raptors don't hunt for sport, so you can make them leave by making it tough for them to eat you. Those clever girls have sensitive hearing, so it's best to hide and sneak around them quietly. But if one of them sees you, run! I've been spotted. Ah, don't eat my toes! If you're out in the open, unable to find a structure to hide in, find the most fortified looking vehicle with a sturdy roof, and have some food and drink with you as you pass time until help arrives, or when slowly making your escape. In the Jurassic Park films, bad things happen to characters as they leave their cars to somewhere more stompable. The gyrospheres from Jurassic World seem to be a worse place to be in, as the dinosaurs learn Jurassic Parking and endlessly kick your hamster ball. <laughs> and shutting yourself in a locker during a raptor's pursuit is like packaging yourself into a meal container. Although sturdy vehicles are safe, there is one issue with the vehicle as a hiding spot. In a vehicle, we are safe from almost all dinosaurs except one, the T-Rex. Movies and games have shown that staying still will get the T-Rex to leave you alone. Yet, the T-Rex actually has excellent vision and an even better sense of smell. So, how do we survive an encounter with a T-Rex apart from screaming louder than your friend next to you? You have a couple of options. One, run away as fast as you can. A Jurassic Park T-Rex has a max speed of about 12 miles per hour, but with a head start, you may just be fast enough to escape its jaws of death. And trust me, you don't want to be in its jaws as it has a bite force stronger than puncturing steel. <laughs> Perhaps you can even check under the herbivores enough for safety, but not close enough to be a vegetable. Get it? But um, tsh. Here's option number two. If you brought weapons into the park, now's the time to use them. Specifically guns with large caliber bullets, rifles, or shotguns. If you're American, this may be an easy step. Your shotgun may not kill a T-Rex, but it may be just enough for it to give up on you for easier prey. The only downside of this option is that you'll be attracting unwanted attention to yourself. Option number three, if you've done hunting before your venture into the park, you can use that to keep the dinosaur distracted and sated. And here's your last option, possibly your favorite option, throwing the nearest neighbor you hate at the T-Rex. It's human Snickers time. I don't I recommend the fourth option if you brought your children to the park. Otherwise, they'll learn who's mommy and daddy's favorite child soon. 
What if the dinosaur that's outside your vehicle is a Dilophosaurus, not a T-Rex? From the movies, we know that Dilophosaurus are smaller dinos with a retractable frill around its neck. <sighs> and the ability to spit venom. In reality, there's no evidence that they were actually venomous. Rather, they relied on their sharp teeth and claws to kill. Jurassic World Aftermath suggests shining your flashlight at them as they supposedly fear the light. Yet that won't stop them in reality, as they already adapt to various light conditions. They're not a Valorant gamer. They're not Dracula. So what would be the best bet to survive a Dilophosaurus? Keeping your vehicle doors and windows locked. Even if they give you their puppy eyes to hand them your bag of crisps, don't fall for it. But if you left your windows open in your vehicle during the duration of this video, you'll have a resident in your car that called dibs on shotgun. Good luck! <laughs> Now that you're well-nourished, evaded some dinosaurs, and are close to getting off the island, search for the nearest dock rather than helipads, as those will be overtaken by creatures running 10 times faster than your car. On your way to the docks, avoid open areas, locations with lack of light, bushes, uneven rough ground, and thick jungles with obstructing plants. By being in an open area, you're prone to not only your fate as a human pancake, but also winged pteranodons. Unlike the movie, those winged creatures cannot pick you up and fly away, but they can fist you to death. Wait, no. The pteranodons would first smash into you with a knuckle on their midwing over and over again. Our fist is one third the size of a pteranodon's knuckle, so a punch from it is definitely going to hurt, and trying to fight it is out of the question. You squaring up against a pteranodon is like Jake Paul fighting Mike Tyson. Don't even take your chances. That's why I love Nestle Crunch. Now that we arrived at the docks, grab a boat and get the hell out of there. Where do we go? Anywhere away from Isla Nublar. Those oversized cloned animals have already given us a clear message that they don't want us near their terrain. So let's reach the nearest mainland. The T-Rex could possibly swim and follow us, but it will never catch up to our boat. And we've escaped with a nice view of the island from a distance. Congratulations, you have survived Jurassic Park. Dinosaurs in our world are scary enough, but would you want to take a chance in theirs? Let me know in the comments below. That is all for today. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe, like the video, and comment your opinions below. Could you survive Jurassic Park in real life? And how? I would like to read your creative ideas in the comments. Thank you for being part of the tour.